my eye. Let me get some water. Y'all, that's this damn weather doing this shit with my eyes and stuff. So let me just kind of move that out the way. All right, so let's just jump right into these stylers that I finished last year. I'm just going to start with what I could see. Some stuff was good, some stuff was in, and some stuff was great. Let's talk about, let me just grab, since it's in my face. The not so good. This. This is the Moisture Miracle Aloe and Coconut Water Hydrate and Hold Curl Defining Gel. Now, definition, lovely. Smell, that's decent. What I did not love. And I use it up because, I mean, I want all my coin. What I, I love the amount of this that you get 18 ounces. I love the price. I love the smell. The reason why this is going into worse than flakes. This gel is not a gel that plays well with everything I've tried to combine this with leave-ins, without a leave-in. It just flaked. <coughs> I could <coughs> I couldn't get around the flakage, so that's why I would never repurchase. And at least I tried it. I'm not mad that I didn't like it because I didn't pay a lot for it. So if you see this. You might like it. It is affordable. It is on the ground accessible. I did not like it because of them flakes. So that is a no. And that same gel, I can't even find it at my Target anymore. So I don't know if they stopped selling it at my Target or if it's just always sold out for those that love it. <clears throat> I did not love it though. Okay, we're going to start with something I actually did love, which was this Miel. Styling gel. This is number two. I actually did enjoy this. This was well. This did not flake. This was nice. And smells. It has that nostalgic Hawaiian ginger smell. So if I see this again, I would purchase this again. This is a yes. I did like it. Um, did I love it? I say it was a decent one. So I probably would put this. Let me think. Did I love it though? I believe I did, yes. <laughs> I had to think about it. Because I know I didn't hate it. I was like, some stuff is borderline. I loved and some stuff is borderline. Yeah. If it's like a B plus, I might tip it towards the love. But if it's like a B minus closer to a C, I'll just tip it in the middle. And anything below a C, you, you know where that's going. In the hell knows. Okay, so... This next product, I see it because it's sticking up. This is the Curl Smith Hold Me Soft Styling Balm. Now, this <laughs> gave the moisture. Okay. I understand the science behind Curl Smith. I guess y'all gonna say I'm a Curl Smith Bay now because <clears throat> I mean, from the shampoo, conditioner, the multiple, the three in one, the this, um, what else? I want to try some more Carl Smith products. And I love how the little messages is cute. And this was a nice size product. Now, Carl Smith can be expensive. Um, when Alta has a sale on different Carl Smith items, I will buy. I want to try the, from the moisture recipe, I want to try the deep conditioner. I want to try the leave-in conditioner, the shampoo. Because I did try this, which is a styler, and it's very moisturizing. And I love the the smell of Carl Smith. I, I'm, I'm loving that. So we're going to say yes to those. <clears throat> okay. I remember loving this. This is the Curl Days Creamy Style, Creamy Curl Styler. This is a yes. So this will be the fourth style. Well, this will be styler number four that I'm showing y'all that I absolutely love. And I absolutely would repurchase this. This is worth all the coin. But I got it on sale. So when Target does have a sale, like normally this 12 ounces would be like $20. But they had it like $9. And I said, well, shit, why not? Because I ain't going to see it again. Can't beat that. So that's a yes. 
My hair came out lovely and the moisture was great. Okay, so we're going to talk about this hair butter, which I love. I've used before and I would purchase. Again, it's affordable. It's in a clutch. When you find it, get it. And it has that classic, sorry if there's hair in there, classic smell. <clears throat> this is definitely something I would repurchase. Yes. Okay, and I have bought it before. So, so far, that's one, two, three, four, five stylers so far. Let's get into the next one. Okay. So, here is the Twisting Souffle. I absolutely adore the way that this entire collection smells. I adored the moisture with this. This was lovely as well. So, I mean, these Meow Stylers have been hitting. They do a styler well. So, so far that is five stylers I love. And one I would never repurchase ever again. So far, let's get into another one that I did not love. So I can, it's probably going to be even. Um, This one was as horrible as the gel. And both of, and this is another African Pride styler. This is the Olive Miracle Anti Breakage Foam Setting Mousse. Baby, this was so drying. <laughs> okay. I didn't feel a lick of moisture. Now, the gel, the only problem with the gel, it flaked. I did get some moisture with that. But this, this, when the gel dried down, I felt moisture, but I got so many flakes that I just could not. This, I didn't get any flaking, but I got dry hair. I had to moisturize every single day, damn near, with this. This is not a mousse that's moisturizing. So this is a hell no. I'm not mad because it did not cost me a lot of money. <laughs> Just know I would never repurchase this ever again. So that is the unlucky number seven. Because <laughs> that was horrible. Okay, so this... I was not expecting to love this, but I did. This Rosemary Mint Daily Styling Cream from Miel. The packaging is beautiful. Second of all, the smell is nostalgic. <coughs> this worked lovely. And I understand why people love it because I did love it as well. Oh, and I only had a little bit more, but it was not enough to do my entire head. And now, I guess since it, since it done sat there, there's a little bit at the small bottom that wants to come out. But it wasn't enough to where it wanted to actually, you know, come out, come out. So, I pretty much couldn't finish it. I, tr I thought I did. A lot of these, if there's like a fourth of a section, enough to do like four or five twists, I try to get them as empty as possible. But this is a true empty because this is not enough to finish my head. This would just basically make me mad because it would feel like what a rest of the moisture at so if you see this try it i believe you would love it you get eight ounces i think i got two and a half uses out of this thing it's a good a really really good one these meal moisturizers these meal stylers they're hitting lovely so so far there's eight stylers that I have tried. Okay, so the next, I'm gonna count these as number nine because I have two of them. Um, I absolutely loved these. These rose water hydrating styling lotions. <coughs> um, these were one of my favorites, if not my favorite things from the collection besides the shampoo. The shampoo and these, I loved. The leave-in was okay. The deep conditioner, it was okay. I hated the conditioner. Loved these. These were lovely. So these are number nine. Even though I have two of them, I'm counting them as it is. Nine stylers. Okay, so speaking of... C G the I N. 
I also loved this. This is number 10. So the Rosewater, the stylers from TGIN I loved. So this is the Rosewater Mousse, which I did finish up. I absolutely loved this. This is, <coughs> this was beautiful. This is number 10. Okay, so this is the 10th styler I finished. I'm trying to be as accurate as possible when counting these. Okay, we're going to go on to something else that I did not love at all. Sorry to say it, but I tried to love this because of the smell. But when I say I got no definition, my hair was just a puff ball. It wouldn't even curl at all. I hated this. This is number un unlucky number 11. This shade, moisture, coconut, hibiscus, flat, see, defining, styling. This defined not a damn thing. Okay. I was not impressed by this. I was like, absolutely the hell not. But what I do love from this shea moisture, coconut hibiscus line, I love the, what I absolutely love is the curl smoothie and I love the mousse. So don't get this, get the curl smoothie, which is OG and tried and true, or get the mousse to this. You would if you don't love them, you'll like them. You're not going to like this if your hair is like mine. Because this did nothing. At least you'll get moisture and, some, and definition. This ain't... I had to do my hair over <laughs> with this. So I was like, what the hell? Uh-uh. No. <clears throat> okay, so we're getting down to the good stuff. I loved this. This was on clearance. Probably like $3 or $5. This is the Cream of Nature Butter Blend and Flaxseed Double Duty Stretch Define Pudding. This is a yes. Okay. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is number 12. And I loved this. I would repurchase when I see this again. Or I'll just have to make a Sally's Beauty Supply Store stop and pick this up. But this is worth it. When you see it, try it, get it. <laughs> Next. <laughs> okay. Now we're moving along to... Something that, <coughs> this is 13. This was a great one. This is the Nature's Little Secret Styling, Irish Styling Moss Styling Cream. And I absolutely would repurchase this. So yes, this is one that I absolutely would repurchase. So far, so good. Only three stylers I hated. <laughs> We're getting real good here. <laughs> but yes, I would. Okay. So now on to number 14. This gel, I did not hate this. But I'm not in love with the gel. But I do at least like the gel. Yes, it gives you a crunch. I had some flakes. But it wasn't like it's raining flakes. I could brush those off and they went away. I was able to tame any flaking with this. But do be mindful, this has a crunch. You don't think it will, but it does have a crunch. So I will put this in the middle because it was decent. So we're going to say that. <coughs> That's number 14. Ooh. Okay. So here's to something else that it wasn't horrible. It was decent. It was good. But... I'm not mad that I didn't love it because it was affordable, but I did not love it, but I know I didn't hate it. I could tolerate it was decent. I felt it doing something. Didn't do what, what I quite wanted it to do, but it was not the worst, okay? And that's this Curl Talk, Curl Foam by Not Your Mother's Curl Refreshing Curl Foam. I will say this is at least worth a try. It's a decent product. It's not the best top of the line product by no means. But it ain't the damn worst product either. So 
Okay, so far that's three. This will be four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Thirteen, thirteen, fourteen. Wait a minute. Three, four, five, and six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So this is product number fifteen. Then, yes. Yeah, see how fast I lost my track of thought. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just trying to count as I go along to keep track because I got to document how much products I use. <laughs> it's a thing I do so I know if I'm using more or less. Okay. So speaking of something I absolutely did love, here's <coughs> product number 16. Now this is an alternative which is better than the other moves that I did not like. I absolutely love. This Moisture Miracle Rose Water and Argan Oil Soft and Smooth Curl Mousse. Now this is the mousse to get. This wiring stuff is kind of coming, you know. This is the mousse to get. Ignore the Olive Miracle one. Do not get that. This number 16, this mousse is great. It's lovely. So this is absolutely one that it's affordable that you, that if you're into mousses, pick this one up. Okay, you would like this. Okay. If you don't, li if you don't love it, you're at least going to like it and respect it. I loved it though. <laughs> so that's the 16th one. Here's the mousse to here is a Shea Moisture Coconut Hibiscus Curl Mousse. Now this is a mousse I absolutely loved as well. I had no beef with this. I loved this. The way my hair felt, it felt lovely. That's all I'm going to say about that. This is product number 17. Yes, I would. Because I don't want it to be too long because I still got other videos to do. And other things to talk to y'all about. Okay. Here's another mousse that I absolutely love. This is product number 18. This is the Do Mousse Def. Product number 18. Do I love this? Yes. Would I repurchase this? Yes, after I try some more the Do products. Because they products have been low-key fire. So this is going to be a repurchase. Just, I don't know when, but I would. Okay. All right, so moving right along. This is the main choice design gel. Was it the most moisturizing? No. Was it horrible? Mm-mm. Because I didn't try some hair to the nose. Sorry about the hair if you see that. It's an empty, you know. This. <coughs> I will put this in the middle. I. This was good. Was it great? No. Was it the worst? Hell no. It was at least a good product. Or shall I say a decent product. It just wasn't my favorite. I didn't love it the way I thought I was going to love it, but I liked it. I at least had respect for it. I wish it had a little bit more something. I can't think of what else I wish it had. But it was at least decent. And I did not pay no $15.99. I paid $6.99. That's why I can say, well... What I said about that. Okay, so this next product, these next products in the box, I loved all of them. So that's good to know. So this one is the cream, the do the cream twist and curl cream. Baby, when I say I have never felt moisture like this, this moisture was on a thousand okay cream stands for coconut rose water vitamin e avocado and mindy look if you're looking for a good moisturizing cream you might as damn well try this okay this was lovely and then i have the the other moisturizing cream which is like the afro bonita afro bomb so I will definitely, okay, try some more the new products. I love them, <laughs> the ones that I've tried. So this is going in the yes. I don't know when, but I will. Ooh. All right. Now this gel was great from Camille Rose. I absolutely would repurchase this gel. This Lavender Crush Defining Gel. My hair was beautiful. 
I had this gel in my hair when I met <sighs> the one I want to be with. <laughs> and I remember when I, mm, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Good memories with this gel. Okay, I lost count. <laughs> I don't even know. Let me count how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, wait, no. One, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen, fourteen. This is number twenty. <laughs> okay, and this was a lovely. You following along? This is number twenty. Everything else will be repurchased. This is 21 right here. Loved when they bring this collection back from the Juicy Green Apple. I absolutely. The only thing I did not love from this collection was the shampoo. The rest of the collection is going to be in the favorites. So this was a great styling year. <laughs> I thought I was going to have more stuff I did not like. But I'll take it. I will take it. Okay. <laughs> I absolutely would repurchase this Big Papa. That's not enough to do my head. <coughs> I would repurchase. Smells good. Works good. Moisturizing. I don't know when because there are all this stuff I want to try. Like, I want to try the crazy, sexy, cool foam. And then I want to try the B-Girl Custard. To compare to to this, so I probably will repurchase those. I probably will purchase those later on this year to at least try them and compare to the three amazing stylers that I've purchased this um, that I've used for 2023. It was a great styling year. Yes, this is 20. Uh, what well, hell? This is 22. <laughs> okay, so. This is another great Miel styler. This was the curl pudding, the anti-shedding curl pudding from the Seamoss collection. The only thing about this, I wish this was bigger. Because I think my hair used this in a one full. And then I had a fourth of a use left. And I had to try something else. But baby, that one and a fourth use of this was very moisturizing. If she could have made this like 16 ounces, I think I would have loved it. And don't tell me, oh, you probably use too much. No, my hair can eat up some products. Okay. Sometimes it uses more, sometimes it needs less. But I should at least get two uses out of an eight ounce product. Okay. That's why if this was like 10 or to 12 ounces, I would have at least got two and then a part of the use. But that's okay. This is affordable. It is beautiful. It's a beautiful product. Or actually, ugh, the packaging is beautiful. The product was nice as well. So, yes, I would. There's not one meal product in here except for that damn shampoo that I did not like. Because I hated that shit. <laughs> okay. Now, this I absolutely loved. This is the Camille Rose. The coconut water style setter. Everything in this collection was banging. Um, <clears throat> I haven't tried the refresher spray. I tried to find that. I couldn't find it. It must be sold out where I've been looking. But I do have the shampoo and the conditioner to this Camille Rose style setter. Hopefully they don't disappoint because the style setter, this, which is the styler, the leave-in, the deep conditioner and the co-wash have been wonderful to me. So I really hope that I love that. If not, it is what the fuck it is. Okay. All right. Here is the curl bomb gel, which, damn, that's not enough to do my whole head. It's like, if you look, it's like that much left that ain't even 
you know, it wouldn't even come out no more when I was trying. So that's why some of it still is at the very bottom. I couldn't even bang it all out. This Curl Bomb gel is very moisturizing. Now, this one I love. This the one I would, I'd buy this again. This is going to be in a stash in the future. I don't know when, but it will. Okay. TGIN, I have respect for. There's only one product I did not like from TGIN, and that was a conditioner. And I'm not mad at that at all. <coughs> I'm not. When there is at least under five products that I can think of that my hair hate, that my hair hated from an entire brand, that's a damn good thing. And it could just be one thing from a collection. I don't believe my hair has ever hated an entire collection of hair products from one brand. Unless it was Cantu. That's the only thing where my hair hated everything. I don't think nobody uses Cantu no more. I won't even risk my natural hair to try Cantu's products. I be damned. Okay. That's just how I feel. And just because... Some of these products I did I hate it. That does not mean I hate the brands because these brands have been fired. It's just one or two products from the brand that my hair was like, uh -uh. and if it's a styler, I'm never mad if it's a styler that my hair doesn't like <laughs> ever. Now, if you a shampoo and I do and I hate you, I mean it's pretty hard for me to hate a shampoo. <laughs> okay. There's been very few. I can count the times I hated a shampoo. This year, there have been two. Last year, I think there was just one. Year before, I know that there was one. And all the other times, my hair has not hated a shampoo. So there may be four to five shampoos. My hair is just like, fuck no. You better not even think about it. In my five years of being natural. I know it was two this year. I think it was like one last year. Might have been two in 2022, but I'm pretty sure it was at least one. I know it was at least one. Now, deep conditioners and um, conditioners, I expect my hair not to like those. And stylists. But shampoos, I'm like, damn, my hair really didn't like you. <laughs> what the hell? Leave-ins can go either way. But I already know when it gets into the conditioning part from a rinse out to a deep conditioner to a leave-in. I already know I'm at least not going to like something. And a styler tube. So the only thing that shocks me is if my hair hates an oil or if it really hates a shampoo. Those two get me like, oh, my hair didn't like that. I'm shocked. I thought it would have. But everything else, I'm like, well, shit, I expect it to at least not like something. <laughs> And this last product, which needs no introduction, and I absolutely would because this entire collection from this Honey Miracle line has been fire from TGIN. That is one of my favorite lines from the TGIN brand is our TGIN Honey Whip. The Honey Miracle Hydrating Collection is just fire. Like, what more do I have to say about that? Now I'm going to, uh-oh, total all of these up count how many I really have so I can get the correct accurate count of everything let me put the big stuff um together so it's not all like mumble jumbled in my face okay so mm, let's see one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one things that I did love. Okay. So let me wait. I use twenty seven stylers. Let me count that again. Six. <coughs> okay. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 
24, 25, 26, 20. Okay, so I've used 27 stylers that I've finished. 21 of them were loves. Three of them were fuck knows. And the other three was at least decent enough to talk about, but I still don't believe I would repurchase. So that's 27 stylers so far. And um, I think I got time to talk about the oils. So let me just do that and then I'll be back. <laughs> 